finish line this time. Cedric leading Gibbs by a second. Burton is third. Haley is fourth. Myatt Snyder completes the top five. And I like watching that gap on the left side. You know, now it's one point. As much as I would not be mind if Alton Cedric wins this, but that game is right. And he'll from Fender, back up after that incident with AJ, so we'll see. I would not mind that, but I'm going to root for the A team to be able to just go very fast through the bus stop and final chicane on this wrist track. And then we just saw Man, the 74 the car. Being up here, whether the caution came out right now, if you fit or not. Has a tire going down. Well, Joey says he wants tires. I'm, I'm staying out. <laughs> oh, there might be debris. Yep, there it is. There it is. The car is out. Ah, this changes everything. We don't see a caution here. That is not what Cindric wanted. Cindric is saying, forget about it. Yeah, we're going to have to. And there it is. Caution number six. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no, guys. And Overtime. The 90 of Preston Partis is spun around. It's overtime at Daytona, presented by Credit One Bank. Here we go, guys. It's awesome. Look at Cedric trying to make the run. Look at Ty Gibbs. Look at those runs. Oh no, Sieg is in the grass. And Ty Gibbs got a great Ty, uh, Ty Gibbs had a lot of starts. Oh, he's in the grass! Get out! Damn, everyone's spinning. Oh, man. Woo! Right place, right time. Ty went into third. Cedric went up to fifth. Sieg went from first to 20th in one turn. So, well, watch the 54 and the 22 right back here if he rows back. You know, they're going to spin. They're like in. The 22 has no option but to go to the bottom. As soon as he's going to start finish line, boom. Cedric and Ty. Ty Gibbs were in the sixth row. That's what tires do. That's why they were so important. They end up right next to each other again, right there, after passing five cars. And right here, I thought this was the end of Ty Gibbs. As they came off this corner, they're all touching each other. Oh, gosh, he's in the dirt. Four tires in the dirt. Crazy. <laughs> I'll say this. He was very <laughs> And then behind them, for a third time, Carnage. You see, they're getting off in the grass. And the grass is so wet because of all the rain we've had here in Daytona over the last week or ten days. Typically, it'll just tear your race car up. It didn't there. Big break for Ty Gibbs. We're on board with Justin Haley. And right now, Haley's thinking... Tires do matter. Poor Sieg. The two doing the same exact thing, just not as much. And look at this is where I told you guys it's gonna get tight, and this is where it gets in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was just noticing that. All, all guy and Brandon Brown, family owned team, snuck through there. That's a, that's super impressive. Fifth in points right now, fourth in points right now, the way they run. A couple of these guys got tires. They're they're in the top ten. Damn. Let me throw this at you. We haven't said much about Noah Gregson the entire day <laughs> because he started the race on pit road. That last caution, he got Does he get the free pass? He's in the top fifteen. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys going to the quarter. Ah, I, I like thinking did Noah Gregson get oh, back on the the lucky down. dog. Gracious. And those guys with tires know they have to get get it all done as soon as they can. So you he was two laps be down at the beginning of the you race. Can't. You have to get them all way. Can you get big chunks of cars? You can get you three, four, five, six cars. That'd be chaos in one corner. Andy Check in the town. Trying to complete what's been an amazing career. He's never won a NASCAR. And here we go, green in our second overtime. Brendan, holy shoot, look at Ty Gibbs. Went through the grass. He's been doing more off road in the last few laps under green than he has been racing. He got second. He's going to pass Jeb Burton. Gibbs is there, and he makes the pass on Jeb Burton. 54 out front at Daytona. On the record, no, Gregson got spun out. 
try and see again. Justin Allgaier, will it produce a caution and send us to a third overtime? He saw it now, and Noah Gregson, Day just continues in the grass. Ryan Sieg was also in the middle of that. These guys are all racing each other so hard right now. It's so much fun to watch these guys. I want to be out there. Great comeback from Brett Moffitt. We saw him with the flat tire earlier, and that's come down pit road. We're in fifth. Yeah, trying for his second straight top five to begin the year. Career best last week. How about Jim Burton? Hanging in there really good. He's got those old tires out of that car. Uh, running in second still. He's going to get a good finish. He might not be able to hold off the 22 with the tires here, but you know, if like this thing goes through the rest of the way, he's probably going to finish third. I wouldn't have thought he would be the best finishing colic car today, but yeah. that's where we are right now. He falls to third. Cindric is by, and now the question becomes, can the 22 run down the 54? It's going to be tough. We saw earlier on a short run how good that 54 was. He's fired up. I think that was Austin. <laughs> He's ready to get coming in there. Well, I was hoping it wasn't Ty. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he's trying to outbreak him here. Ty, Ty can't get relaxed here. He doesn't have that rabbit like we talked about out there. Yeah. Austin's coming, man. <laughs> in one second, you're nine-tenths of a second. We're uh, flag. It's shrinking. This is going to be something. One lap to go, and the next flag will end it. Should the caution come out, this race would be over. Cinder gaining ground, eight-tenths of a second behind <laughs> as they hit the end. Turns two and three. Before this is where Ty was really good, breaking into into the into the you know uh, into loop here. These things just are never over till they're over. I tell you, man. You look at the clash. Look at the nine and the twelve. There was a pretty decent gap between them at one point. It closed up a lot. As that second place car has nothing to lose, that his heavy braking zone is going to try to get everything they possibly can get. Austin can stay close to the second horseshoe here. He might have a chance. He's really good up onto the bank and into that back stretch best stop. He's running out of opportunities. The advantage back out to a second and a half for Ty Gibbs. Out of the infield and back onto the high banks. That's a pretty big gap there. He, he actually liked center three there. Uh, you look at the gap now, 1.6 seconds. There's Coach. You think he's nervous right now? Let's see a pulse rate monitor on him. <laughs> it's probably probably more than ties. Imagine watching your grandchild out there on the big track doing this. What a uh, amazing feeling that must be. He's checking boxes, getting through <laughs> challenging portions of this race course. <laughs> Cedric getting it all through there, hitting the turtles on the exit. Good. And now turns 13 and 14. The front stretch. I think Ty Gibbs has got this one. Gibbs. His grandfather is a legend. And at 18 years old. He's Impressive. In his first career start. Here's Ty Gibbs, a victory at Daytona. Incredible. Incredible. That's awesome. Any of us would have thought that coming in today. And now the Hall of Famer, Joe Gibbs, can take a deep breath. That's why you gotta watch these races. You know, before the race started, we thought it was gonna be a two-car race between Alvin Dinger and, and Cindric. We did not think about Ty Gibbs getting in there and doing an amazing job on new tires, working through the field. You know, I, I would have thought at that point, you know, as a rookie, you may not get everything you can get with those new tires to get through the field as quick as someone experienced as much as, as Austin is uh, in this series. You know, he had a, the reigning champion behind him uh, in that, that Penske Ford and was able to uh, you know, hold him off. Very impressive. 21 wins now for Chris Gale in the Xfinity Series, and this is one he'll never forget. Taking the boss's grandson into victory lane at the World Center of Racing. Sixth driver to win in their series debut. Third youngest winner in the Xfinity Series. Joey behind you and Chase Elliott. Let's watch this restart here. You see a good start. You know, Ted and Jeff Burton really able to jump out. Right there, start finish line. You can turn down. I thought he was done when they went four right here and then he went to the grass. Right there. Right there. I thought he was done. I thought he was done. Go through the third, still hangs out of it, makes the corner. And at this point, 
sheds the trouble uh, as they go into turn three. It's gonna outbreak him so easily. Let's hear from a proud grandfather, Regan. Well, Coach Gibbs, you have been a part of a number of huge wins in your racing career, your football career. Do any of them match up to this right now? Uh, really, when it's your grandson like that, I say a coy is guided tie through his whole racing career. I wish he could be here. Heather's upstairs. I, I just am thrilled. Uh, I don't know what to say, really. It, when it's your grandson, it's definitely different. And I thank the Lord for getting this opportunity. I want to thank uh, Monster, who's been right with Ty the whole way. Rodney, Mitch, and uh, I want to say thanks to Toyota for all they've done for us. So it, it's, it's like a dream come true for our family. Pat, everybody back home. Mom, thank you. I'll be checking in. Coach Gibbs. Their highs and lows in sports, their highs and lows in life. The Gibbs family has experienced them all. But tonight, it'll put a tear in your eye watching this kid win in his first career start and hearing his grandfather speak about what it means to this family. There you go, just got it going down. Hey, you first win, you gotta learn how to do burnouts, man. It's, uh, <laughs> Cool for uh, and he stopped. Family, uh, <laughs> uh, just to, obviously great people and uh to, to see your grandkid imagine that i just can't believe uh you know to watch something like that happen in his first start congratulations to them you know if you pick up the paper and see that ty wins you don't understand how good of a job he's done uh not only did he get better on the racetrack turn by turn uh lap by lap but coming down pit road you saw him do all the little things like you said joey restarts he bobbled one but he just got better and better throughout the entire day and, and learned how to be up there and, and he didn't get there because the, the other two had an accident he would have been there with them i think if they were running he got better and faster throughout the day and, but now i think he's stuck in the grass <laughs> after after all this and yeah that's the emotion check total disbelief right now i thought a tie would win this season in the 54 car yeah i just thought it would be ty dillon instead it's ty gibbs and they <laughs> down there with Ty. Ty Gibbs becomes the sixth driver to ever win in his Xfinity Series debut. Ty, we've seen how talented you are in the Arkham and Art Series, but you jumped up two classes. What you did tonight, you've never done a live stop. you never turned a lap in one of these cars. How do you describe what just happened? You know, I just can't think anybody or everybody right now just really this is like a dream come true to me, so, you know, it's just awesome. I can't do burnouts. That's one thing I cannot do at all. But, um, you know, I just can't thank everybody. This is just, this is a dream come true to me, you know. I really didn't think I had it there and kind of fought back and we won. Just thank you to Monster Energy and everybody. It's just, I don't even know what's going on. Ty, what do you have to say about your dad, your grandfather who was just watching on that says, this is one of the biggest moments in his career. What do you have to say to your family? You know, I, the family is everything to me. You know, they, they do so much for me. And, you know, I just can't thank them enough. And just, this is just amazing. I, I have, this is a dream come true. You know, it's all the man above. And I'm sorry about Rack. I didn't even think this was going to happen at all. So, you know, this is this is awesome. I can't thank everybody uh, watching. And, you know, and last week I had a terrible interview. And I just want to apologize uh, for everybody. And, um, I just can't thank everybody. Just amazing. That's a special place. Victory Lane for the first time in your career. And Jamie, outstanding job. Jamie Little ran like a marathon to get to him for that interview. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw her. Not a Regan Smith. Well, a second place finisher in this race, Austin Sindrick. Austin, but we got to talk about what happened on the end of the first stage there. The contact coming to the line, the damage of the car. I got to imagine that didn't help as the night went on. Yeah, certainly not. Obviously, I don't want to be racing to, to a stage that probably not aggressive. Like I said, I lo I'd love to see a replay. Just hopefully we can avoid something like that because obviously AJ and I, we're, we're going to be, you know, fighting for a win later today. So I hate to be able to do that much damage to our PPG Ford Mustang that early. Just seemed like he was trying to block whether if he didn't know if I was there or not. Sucks it's over with, but uh, 
But hey, we salvaged a great day out of it. Congratulations to Ty. That's obviously really cool. That, that, that interview was really special. Congrats to him and his family. And uh, me too, I'll take it. Thanks, Austin.